Hi everyone, uh, it's Pastor Nick here. Uh, I want to show you a word of encouragement. It is election day. I hope that you went out and uh, after uh, praying to God and thinking about it and wrestling with it, you voted for the candidate that you feel uh, best represents uh, what you would like. Uh, and I was thinking about that and it's a very kind of high strung day. It's a high strung day in our house at home. Uh, it's sort of high strung in the community, uh, talking with people. Uh, but I wanted to share with you something because sometimes uh, I know that I, well, all the time I make mistakes and I know that I mess up things uh, constantly. I sin constantly. Uh, there are times where I have regretted how I voted. Uh, there are times where I've regretted all sorts of things. Uh, but you know and I know the one thing that we will never regret is relying on the Word of God. And so I wanted to share this with you from Psalm 19. Uh, Psalm 19, uh, David writes, the heavens declare the glory of God, and the sky above proclaims his handiwork. Day to day pours out speech, and night to night reveals knowledge. There is no speech, nor are there words whose voice is not heard. Their voice goes out through all the earth, and their words to the end of the world. In them he has set a tent for the sun, which comes out like a bridegroom leaving his chamber, and like a strong man runs its course with joy. Its rising is from the end of the heavens, and its circuit to the end of them, and there is nothing hidden from its heat. The law of the Lord is perfect, reviving the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The rules of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, even much fine gold. Sweeter also than honey and drippings of the honeycomb. Moreover, by them is your servant warned, and keeping them there is great reward. Who can discern his errors? Declare me innocent from hidden faults. Keep back your servant also from presumptuous sins. Let them not have dominion over me. Then I shall be blameless and innocent of great transgression. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Uh, it's nice to know that uh, no matter what happens, uh, no matter what's going on anywhere, uh, that the word of God is perfect, uh, makes wise the simple, uh, it causes our hearts to rejoice, it opens our eyes, it is pure, it endures forever, uh, and by, by sharing the Word of God, by reading the Word of God, meditating on it, thinking about it, uh, we will never, ever regret those things because uh, it is finer than fine gold and sweeter than honey. Uh, so let's pray together. Heavenly Father, uh, we pray that uh, you would bring uh, peace to our country. There's a lot of stuff going on, a lot of voting. Uh, there's a lot of uh, agitation, a lot of anger. Father, we pray that you would be with our country tonight and in the days ahead, uh, and that uh, you would help all of us uh, to love one another as you've called us to do, uh, whether we are friends or whether we are enemies. Father, help us to love uh, everyone uh, that we come across and, and people we've never met, but we've seen on TV and, and or seen on the internet. But even more than that, Father, God, I thank you that you have given yourself to us. You've given us your word uh, which never changes, which is always true. We can rely on forever. It's been uh, the same since it was first written uh, until now and forever and ever. And God, I thank you for being faithful and loving us. And I pray that you would bless us as your people. Uh, Father, we love you. And we ask all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. I hope that you have a good night or a good day, depending on when you watch this.